Well, so Richard, now uh, you've got a bit more time to reflect on the uh, victory against OKR. What's been said during the week, and uh, is it still as good a victory as it was at the time? Yeah, we, we reviewed the game. Uh, as we spoke about afterwards, there is a, and was a few things that we needed to put right. Uh, the players looked at the game. Defensively, they were very pleased with what we did. Uh, in terms of the contact area, there was a tick in that department. Could have done a little bit more on the floor, we felt. Uh, offensively, we scored some real nice tries. We pushed well, and there were a lot of people got on, different people got personal got on the score sheet. So a lot of positives. Uh, that said, it's different opposition coming up. Last week you said as well that this week was going to be the hardest week of pre-season. Has it turned out like that? Well, fortunately, because of the weather, <laughs> that's Jeff. Uh, yeah, that the, the best laid plans and all that. It was uh, we did have it. We did have a few sessions planned. Uh, the weather is uh, is sort of. We've had to rein ourselves in a little bit. That said, we did a hill session on Sunday morning under six inches of snow up at Shivden. Mm. And there was kids sledging down as we were running up, so that was fun. Mm. Uh, but that was, no, we, we got a lot out of that. That was a great session for us. Uh, we reviewed the game, we looked at that, we, we did some fix up. Uh, we did a two or three weight sessions that week as well, as we always do. Uh, but the hill session, yeah, really finished the week off really well. Uh, we're looking to train again this evening with a one eye on Huddersfield. Yeah, what what are you expecting uh, from Huddersfield on Sunday? Their game got called off at the weekend. Do you think they might bring a, a stronger squad now? They'll probably play the strongest squad that they've got available, I should imagine. You know, we're running out of weeks and games. And now they'll probably want to put a real good show on here. It's a local derby, Halifax and Huddersfield. It's up there as one of the derbies. I remember playing a couple of them games myself. Uh, so yeah, it'll be interesting. We're, you know, we're we're really pleased that the uh, the Huddersfield will be bringing a strong team over. We can challenge ourselves against probably one of the best teams in the competition. If I'm being honest, they were up, they've been up there for the last few years and improving every year. You've got a great staffing structure and some some high quality personnel, international throughout the board. So for our players to pit themselves against Huddersfield is only one of excitement for us. What's the mood been like since the, the victory and so the players you said have been a, a good spirit and they're looking forward to taking on on the field on Sunday? Yeah, they, they are in good spirits and they are anyway, to be fair. Uh, I mean, it's, it's really difficult pre-season training this time of year when, when game time is limited and, and facilities and weather, but they've, they've ripped in really well and I'm, I've been really pleased with, with the majority of the squad uh, for most of the sessions. We've got a lot out of it. Uh, they will be looking forward to this game. Uh, the whole the whole KR game, although it was a good test against Super League opposition, and being honest, it probably wasn't a, 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 a um, you know a, a full time whole KR squad. So this will be this week. So this is probably a little bit, bit of a benchmark for for where we're at. We're, we're looking forward to it, and you know it's, it, it'll be one of them. It will be one of them uh, games. Hopefully. Again, fingers crossed that the weather is kind to us and we can get this game played. I'm sure Huddersfield are thinking the same if they had a game called off, called off last week. And what changes do you think can be made to, to your squad, uh, if any, from the uh, the whole OKR uh, game? You took quite a large squad, it's going to be the same, same thing this time? We'll have a large squad again. Yeah, we'll, everybody within the squad will play. So who the personnel who we weren't involved against OKR, they will play against Huddersfield. Yeah, last week, uh, Adam Tanga didn't have his visa in time for the game. Is he OK to play this week? We're looking for him to play this week. He's got to uh, fly out to, to Dublin and, and get his uh, and do a biometric testing. That's the last little piece of the jigsaw. So all being well, fingers crossed, he, he will be involved. Um, if, it does, if we can't get it done for this week, uh, time, weather, constraints, then, uh, you know, unfortunately, he's probably not going to get a game before the start of the season. So we have got our, our RAF camp where we can get a little bit more out of the players. So we can have a look at him in that. Uh, but it would be disappointing if we can't get him over the, over the line this week. I know you brought a couple of players in in the last couple of weeks. Is there anyone else you're looking to bring in? Perhaps not before the Huddersfield game, but before the, the first game at Whitehaven? No, not quite yet. No, I, I think we've got a settled squad. Um, that said, you know, if... If, if someone does come available and they want to come and play over at Halifax, then you know we're willing to have a look at the right at the right characters, pedigree players. Uh, but we're fairly settled. You know we've done fingers crossed and touch wood. We've, we've not put, picked up too many injuries over the pre-season period, uh, which is a testimony to the to the conditioning and physio department. They've looked after the players and the, and the players themselves. Uh, they've looked after themselves as well. 
So all being well, no, but um, we're obviously going to have a partnership with OKR. I'm sure we'll have dialogue over the next coming weeks about who, who they may be wanting to get some game time.